Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got bases loaded lacquer. Apologize to absolutely nobody. I'm going to start this one off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat. I know I don't normally show me painting on the base coat, but I figured this time it would be okay. Just, you know, mix it up a little bit. I am loving getting back to my nail takes because I'm, I'm very hopeful that it's going to be great. Here is Apologize to Absolutely Nobody by Basis Loaded Lacquer. It's a beautiful, very light purple, and I was really looking forward to wearing this one. Get that first coat on. I love how her polishes are so opaque, and they've got really great formulas. You could probably get away with one coat with most of her creams. And here we go. We're going to get Woody out here. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Got to clean up Mama's mess again. She's such a messy girl. There we go. We're going to go in for that second coat of, um, what is it? <laughs> Apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> I keep wanting to mix it up. Beautiful. I'm going to go in and do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush real quick. Ta-da. And then I'm going to put on INM out the door. This is a quick dry top coat that I get from Sally's. This is my in-between layer top coat. Um, I used to use Pro FX all the time, but it's hard to get. I'll be stamping with Major Digit number 10 today, and I'll be using this dark purple Born Pretty. I don't have a label, so I don't know what the number is or name. I've got my Beauty Scraper and my Conad Stamper out. And here is the beautiful plate I'll be using. I love this Butterfly Images with the um, geometric designs in the background. I really thought that that would be a little different for me. So I'm going to put this on three nails today. I'm going to shoot for that thumb nail and then do my middle fingernail and my ring fingernail. And I love how this shimmery dark purple shows up over that light purple. Purple on purple. My purple loving friends is going to love it. So we're just going to go in. We're going to apply the polish, scrape, and do our pickup. A little rolling action there. And try to figure out how I want to position this to get it on there. I like this image because it leaves a little bit of the nail open with the base color still showing really well. And I just, you know, thought that, that would be fun for a change. Cleaning that plate with some pure acetone. Gotta get more polish on that brush than that girl. There we go. Here we go. We're gonna do our scrape scrape. And then pick it up. And apply it to the nail and I didn't line these up the same there's a little more space on the middle nail but it's okay I'm gonna go in with a little piece of tape and get up some of the excess polish that's on my skin and then I'm gonna tidy it up a little bit more with my acetone or nail polish remover you can use whatever you like to use you don't have to use pure acetone I just think it makes the cleanup go quicker it is more harsh though there we go. I'm going to top it with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat and get that to dry completely down. And now I'm going to use my Posh Fast Dry Top Coat. It's my favorite. If you've been around for a minute, you know that this is one of my favorites. And we're going to finish this one off with that glossy, beautiful top coat. Capping that free edge there. And here is my swatch photo of my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. 